Hey, welcome back to the QuintonGroup.tv. Yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. Today, we're going to talk about final walkthroughs. Welcome back. So, uh, should we do a final walkthrough to a property? Okay, in other words, you've gone under contract for sale and you've previously been in the home several times or one time you looked at it, you went under contract, and now it's coming up to the closing. Do I do a final walkthrough, right? Do I do it the day of, the day before, whichever it may be? We suggest that you do, okay? Especially at secondary home market, vacation home market, where many times the homes are being sold furnished and many times the homes are being sold furnished less than owner's personal items. Now, in the agreement of sale, typically you'll have an exclusion list of furniture, things that they're willing to take out, their personal stuff. But many times, unfortunately, sellers may forget exactly what's on that exclusion list, remove certain items, or, or maybe they may not remove certain items. So doing a walkthrough is very important, not only to inspect and make sure that everything is supposed to be in the home that's supposed to be sold with the home or removed. That's number one. Number two, doing a final walkthrough. If you had home inspection and repairs, making sure that those repairs are done and complete. Many times we've gone through and uh, there might have been a leaky faucet or, or a broken dishwasher or, uh, you know, a, a window that's been broken or shingles off a roof. We've done a final walkthrough and the, the seller had thought that the uh, contractor was supposed to have it done and completed. And we found out got in the final walkthrough, it wasn't completed, it wasn't done. And they thought it was going to be done. All right. So doing a final walkthrough is, is very, very smart to do. Now, in the event something isn't completed and done, and ultimately, let's say they've already had a contractor to do work. Well, then most cases, if something's not been done, we can go ahead and escrow that amount from the seller's proceeds, put the money set aside so the money's there. And then you as a new buyer can make sure it gets done and the cost of that has uh, been taken care of. So we highly recommend a, a walkthrough, uh, you know, previous, you know, most of the time, you know, right before the you know, half hour or so right before closing. So that's the best time to do it. If you do it a week before something could happen, who knows? Um, but you want to go ahead and take a look at the property, make sure that what you're buying is still the same that you thought you're buying and then go right to closing afterwards. So any thoughts, any other questions you might have, all things real estate, give us a call. 609-398-5333 or you can reach me direct at six, uh, my email, jeff at thequincygroup.com. Thanks for watching.